Hi guys! Before I begin, I wanna tell a little something about me so that this video makes more sense. So, I've been living in Osaka for around 7 months. When I first came here, I only know the very basic of Japanese. Probably, the sentences that I'm confident enough to actually say in real life are O genki desu ka? Ano, toire wa doko desu ka? And a couple of greetings, like konnichiwa, ohayo, konbangwa, like the whip I am. But now, I like to think that my Japanese is better than I used to have. At least, I could understand 30 to 40% of what Japanese people are saying. And for some reason, I thought that it was good enough for me to go to the doctor alone, without someone that could help me translating. Boy, did I thought wrong. I was very anxious, of course. First, having to see the doctor alone, facing the receptionist, while not fully able to understand what they're saying. Cut to when the doctor herself called my name to go inside. My hands turned cold. It was for a monthly checkup. I asked her if everything is alright. After she briefly checked me, she said something like, Nani nani? Daijobu, nani nani nani, daijobu desu ne? So naturally my face was like, throughout her brief explanation. Wait, was that a daijobu I heard? At least I know that I'm fine? There's a lot of questions I wanted to ask. But the only thing that came out was, Ano, sumimasen, honto ni daijobu desu ka? And she said, Hi, daijobu desu yo? Shinpai shi nai de? See, the problem is... I would act like this in any languages. My mind would be too stupid to ask a proper question in that kind of situation anyway. It's not a language barrier, but a mind barrier instead. And at least, she said daijobu somewhere in that sentence. So I assumed that I was fine. Ish. <laughs> so, the moral of the story is, apparently, after 7 months of staying here in Osaka, I don't understand anything except for daijobu. Bye!